what I'm really here for today is to finish getting these potatoes up. It's the 11th of October today and they really should be up now, so that's the plan. If this rain holds off and the beans have noticed, I'll quickly show you then just before I get started because I really need to crack on today. That was the weeding that I got done the last time that I was here. And you can see the leaves are really dying back now in these beans. So I'll pick all of them. I think that's all I'm going to get on that one. This one's looking a little healthier. Like it can stand the cold a little more. I'm seeing a few very small ones still forming. Just here. Look. Very small. The other thing I wanted to show you. Remember, I did get a few extra beans. But even the broad beans have given up at this point. Yeah, we'll call that quits and we'll get them out. Maybe not today. And you can tell how cold it is now getting here at night. The pumpkin's not happy. But, got one here. One here. And there is one on the other side. Not quite ready to harvest yet, but with these leaves I might just have to take it and see if I can kind of ripen them in the house. We can tell it's been colder at night. Lazarus is not looking the healthiest for me, so no, I think that's that's going to be the end for him. Got a bit of a situation here, guys. Two pheasants really fighting. And here's the tree. Afterwards, I've picked most of the apples. There was just one or two that were putting up too much of a fight to come away so you just leave them if they're putting up a struggle just leave them they're not quite ready and here they are they might not be the prettiest to look at and I mean there have been bugs and things at them but I could make apple cider vinegar out of them apple wine pies crumbles you name it so they will certainly not go to waste right I really need to try and get these potatoes out. I'm late. As usual. <laughs> Every year I'm late. Every year. There's a whole lot of weeds in this corner, which I'm really not happy about. It's that stuff that spreads like chewing gum. Right, progress for today is I got one row dug up, but we did. I'm keeping a couple of marigolds there just for a bit of colour at the moment. But we can see. We've got potatoes, some chard, carrots, little beetroots, not bad couple of, well, spring onions technically, so I can use all of that. And I've got a bag of the beans as well. And the apples, don't forget the apples. So that's not bad going. We've got about another, I think, two full rows to go. Well, welcome back to the plot. It is, it's a gorgeous day. Part two of that last one. I don't know what happened. I was having some technical difficulties. Um, yeah, my mic just cut out. So I've come back up today, just a couple of days after the last one, and I am going to crack on and get more of these potatoes lifted, more of the weeds. There's not many weeds left, but I'm going to get them out. And hopefully this bit of wood up here, I'm going to get rid of that as well. And I'm going to try my very best not to get distracted by anything else. It's very difficult for me, but I'm going to try. Then I can show you what I managed to get at the end. Of course, it wouldn't be a trip to the allotment without the little robin. Yes, you, I'm talking to you. Plenty of midges about now. You'll be happy. Finally, finally got it done. I think I have, I know I've got a little bit of weeding. We've actually already done all this part and here's the weeds coming again. I'll get the hoe to that next time. They're, they're just, most of them are just annual ones. There's a few I can see are perennial, but most will come out easy enough. 
but I think we have all the potatoes out now. And I don't know if you have this problem, but you plant them and you think you're putting them in straight and they go all over the place. And then at this time of year, all the leaves have died down and you can't find them. But that is, that's the haul I got today. And I'll add that to all the others that are at the house. That's not bad. I mean, that area is about, I think it's four and a half metres by five metres. Sorry, I don't know what that is in feet. I didn't actually set out the sizes. I moved into this plot with this, but it had already been, you know, all the areas had already been determined. It's about four and a half metres by five, roughly, and we get a lot of potatoes. A lot of the ones that I grow, um, I do Charlotte Earlies. They come up fantastic. They're really good. And Desiree, I think, Desiree, I never know how to pronounce it, but they are brilliant potatoes. Um, we do, because our, our soil is a bit sandy still, so we do get a bit of scab on them. That doesn't, that doesn't make any difference to the flavour or how you can cook them. If you're getting potatoes this size, you know, I mean, most of them are pretty good size wise. You know, there's a couple, there are a couple of small ones, but you know, look at that. I can't complain at that. Even if it's got a little bit, a little bit of scab on it there, but that's nothing. Just take that off. It's fine. Fine. We also managed to get a little bit of work done in here. My assistant actually came out and did some work. Oh, I'm covered in dirt. Never mind. So we've taken out the broad beans that were here. Now there were one or two that looked like they wanted to still grow. So I've done a little experiment. The one I've just done is going to be peas and beans next year. And I have no idea if this will work. Probably not. Most of my experiments don't work. Damn, I've just found another potato under my foot. Oh well. Um, so yeah, the ones that looked like they were still growing, I've just stuck them in this new patch. And the next time we're up, I'm going to finish that little bit of weed and get the hole to that, rake it, make it all nice, and we're going to be putting manure on this for the peas and beans next year. We're really lucky we get manure delivered to this site. So if there's any left the next time I'm here, here's that potato, then that's what I'll be doing. And after we've finished that bay, we're going to come and tackle this one. It's not going to be as bad as it looks, actually. I've been... I did a little bit of weeding today and they're coming out easy enough. And there's still a few sunflowers, still trying to put flowers out. Um, everywhere I go now, this little guy is following me. All around the place, which is nice. So next time, hopefully I can show you that will be all nicely covered. This will be weeded. And maybe... I'll have this little guy eating out my hand eventually. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.